Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are on full craft today. And uh, today I, what I would like to do um, is see if I can optimize this storage. We've got some issues with this. Sometimes when we go into refined storage, it starts to lag out. And I think it's because of the amount of resources we have. Uh, if you go in here, you see, I mean, it should just pop and it doesn't. We've got 92,000 redstone and wood and other things. And so what I want to do is see if I can uh, limit this. Let's uh, start to throw some of the stuff out of here. Let's start to kind of compact it. Like I can make redstone blocks as an example and get you know 10,000 redstone blocks out of that. So that's what this episode is going to be, is me trying to get this figured out and get this all sorted out. Now, um, I don't know how I'm going to do, the, like for instance, compression. I may use the crafting system we had before, or I may try to do the compacting drawers method. Um, I'm not sure yet, so I'll have to check that out. One thing I want to do right now, and I'm going to go out to Google to find out, I want to see if there's a way to get some sort of statistic on what we have here. Because this is a lot of stuff, and I'm wondering if it has a way of saying, hey, you've got this many items in the system. So let me go look that up really quick, and I'll be back. Okay, I have not uh, found any way to tell statistics-wise. The only thing I can do really do is look at these lights here. Each one of these discs is 64K. You can see we got a couple of like light blue, which means they're pretty empty. Yellow is getting close to full. Red is full. We got almost full, completely full, and it's completely full back here and completely full over here. So we've got just way too much stuff going on. Okay, so we're going to try to fix that. But before I do, I want to say, hey, if you like this video or you're liking full craft, hit that like button. It's real easy. I really need those likes. Okay, here we go. So what I want to do is I want to get the data out of this thing and going into a compacting drawer. So we're going to run some cable, and I'm going to just run off the front of this one, I think, for now. Okay, and we're going to put on here an exporter, not to that block. Okay, we're going to put into here a compacting drawer and an exporter. And we're going to say export out of the storage system redstone. Now, I'm hoping that this will work because I would think that this would uh, be connected up to here and it's not. And I don't know why. Hmm. I wonder if I can use like a wrench to uh, get that, uh, not that one, it's a uh, crescent wrench I believe. Let's try this. Maybe this will let me uh, modify this so it faces the right way. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So now it's working right. Now I'm going to say lock this in to place here. And you can see it's making blocks of redstone. You see it going in there, the number's going up. That's what I want to see. Now this can go faster. We need some speed upgrades. Um, let's get some speed upgrades here. Let's see, we need four of these. And we'll just let it go as fast as it can. And hopefully this will go a lot faster once we get it out. Okay, so now we got that. Let's put it in here. Tell it to go faster. Now I think you could do stacks, but I'm not going to do full stacks. I'm just going to let it go singles. Here we go. Now, now look at that number going up. See how fast it's going? Now, what we want to do on this side is we want to take an exporter, or sorry, importer, because we're going to be importing it back in. Import redstone blocks, and we'll take that all the way back into the system. hoping that it'll start to move that out. I don't know if that should go up higher. Is it working? Not sure, but hold on. It might be working so fast that we can't see it because if you notice the 1 times 64 plus 1 isn't going up. Okay, so this also can take upgrades. So let's just pop some upgrades into that one and see how it goes. Uh, speed upgrade again. Okay, and we'll throw that in here. There you go. And see the number is going down for blocks of redstone? So it's going in as fast as it can. Now I am curious if I could put a stack upgrade in here. I don't think I have a stack upgrade in here. Do I? I do have a stack upgrade. Let's see if it can handle full stacks at a time. 
Okay, let me take uh, this one out. I'll put the stack upgrade. Wow, see, it's going much, much faster on this side. So I need to get a stack upgrade over there. Okay, so let's make a stack upgrade. Now we don't have any, so we got to make it. And it looks like we need two speed upgrades for this to work. Okay, so let's make a speed upgrade really quick. Upgrade that one right there. We need sugar, redstone, and upgrades. Okay. So we need to get sugar. Come on. Ah, I grabbed the whole stack. There we go. Sugar, redstone. You can already see the redstone amount's already gone down. Come on. I'm saying, give me redstone. There it goes. See, that's kind of lag I'm, I'm, I'm worried about. And we have upgrade. I just need one of these. Okay, we got to put that into a solderer. I think I have some solderers over here that are ready. Maybe. Not sure. Let's go check this one out. See if it works. Okay, so we have to have upgrade, sugar, redstone. And as I thought, it's not hooked up. Okay, so let's uh, move this to a place where it can get hooked up. You know, we're doing a couple different things at a time here. And it's fairly easy what I'm doing. Okay, let's just hook it up right here. And now we're going to say upgrade, sugar, redstone. And then we'll have this, the um, upgrade. Then we'll go and make the stack upgrade. And then we'll throw that in there. And then hopefully it'll run a lot faster. And if this works, then we can work it with other things too. Okay, so here we got our upgrades. Okay, so let's put all this back. And now we need the stack upgrade. Wow, I'm lagging big time. I need that right there. Throw it in. And there we go. And it could be lagging just because of the fact of what I'm doing. It's so much work. That's okay though, because once we get done, it'll be a lot better. Look at so it's waiting on going out. Come on. There we go. Take one of these out, put this in there. There we go. See it moved that all out really fast. Okay, so now it's working a lot better. And this should be freeing up. Look at the redstone's already down to like nothing compared to the other things. And if you look also here. The, the lighting has gone from reds to yellows, so we're starting to get a little bit more space in our storage system, which is really, really nice. Okay, let me let this go, and I'm going to research what the next item looks like. Is there logs? Is there anything we can do with logs? Oak wood. Let me go figure that out, see if we can do something with that. Well, uh, okay, look at lapis. We'll do lapis next. Lapis can make lapis blocks. That'll be very easy. So once this gets done, we'll skip to lapis. Okay, I've transitioned over to lapis lazuli blocks. And as you can see here, we're freeing up space. It's going down. Redstone's already done. So we got about 8,000 redstone blocks. So this is working out well. I'm trying to just get some space in the storage. I still don't know about oak or um, basalt dirt. You can do compressed dirt. I know about that. Um, I'm not sure about oak. Let's see what you can make with oak. Is there anything like a compressed oak or some sort of um, compressed version of it? I don't think there is. And that's one of those things, well, I don't know what we can do otherwise. I don't see anything. But I know with dirt, we can do something. Let's see if I go out to dirt here. you got dirt, and then I believe you have right here, you have double compressed dirt, compressed dirt, that sort of thing. So hopefully we can get that figured out. But anyway, we're going to let this compress down, and we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on making this stuff until we get there. You know, we have aluminum, we probably can make blocks out of that, blocks out of a lot of stuff. Let's get this stuff done. The other thing we can do then is once we finish this, we can then take some of these drives out because we've got some fragmentation. So we can take a drive out, throw it into this machine here. This is a uh, the drive uh, the disk manipulator. You put a disk in here, and it will take the contents out of the disk and throw it into your system, so you get a blank disk. And that way, we'll kind of uh, defragment what we have. But it's going really well. Uh, we're starting to get up. Some lights are all freeing up. You can see so. Um, and hopefully that'll help with lag issues that I'm having. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm currently working on dirt. As you can see, it's slowly going down the list. 
And there's a little bit of lag there. I'm not sure if the lag is caused by refined storage, but I think it is. But we'll just let it go. And what it's doing, actually, which is kind of cool, the system has set up so it's taking, taking dirt. It's making compressed dirt, but it's also making double compressed dirt when it can. So that's working out really well. Also, I'm freeing up drives, so I've been uh, taking them out and putting them into the system here. I'm going to do this one bank first. So uh, as soon as this gets done with dirt, I see it kind of slowing down, then I'll do another drive. We're still going along. So I'm going to do dirt. I can see, like, for instance, I'm not sure about these two, but I can do uh, the next one. It'll be nether quartz, make quartz block. Makes sense. We're uh, just getting items. Look at that, just sliding down. We're getting through it. So I'm just going to keep on seeing what I can do with uh, compressing this stuff. I finished quartz. I'm on to gold. After that, I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to do flint. Flint has a compressed flint. We'll do that. And then uh, maybe sand will be next. And we have aluminum. So I'm just going to go through down through the list. I won't do as many like one-on-one -on -one things. I'll just do the ones very so often and tell you what I've done. But uh, it's working out great, and I'm slowly going through. I've got a disc in here that I'm pulling out. You can see it's going down on items, which is throwing the items into the rest of the storage. That way, this disc will be empty, and I can put it in, take it out, and put it in the storage system directly instead of having it be storing items. So it's almost done here. And meanwhile, this is, looks like it's about done. It's not pulling anything out. So gold is probably getting close. Let me go check gold here. You can see there's no gold nuggets and there's no gold. So that works out great. So then what I do is I go back in here, I take those out, I take out any pieces, looks like they have one gold ingot, and I'll unlock this, and I'll take out this side and go like that. And that should be it. So that's done there. Let's put the gold back. Okay, now I'm gonna get a flint here. I got a flint, I so I'm gonna use that. And I'll run over here and I'll say export flint. Now this didn't change, and I've seen this happen where even though it's not doing anything, it still just looks like it's looking for gold. It's not locked. So I'll just break it, and I'll put it back down. And you can see it goes right to compressed flint, and I'll say lock. And there it is. You can see the flint's going up. It's making compressed blocks. Now I don't see the flint going into a compressed flint blocks. So I'm going to grab one of these, unless it's just automatically importing it, but it shouldn't. Because I have not set up anything here. I don't know. We'll just see. Let's go look at Flint here. It is working. So it's working very perfectly fine. So we'll just wait for that to go. And this disk should be done. Yes, it's done. Okay. So we're just doing this, you know, kind of just compacting and defragmenting our storage system. While I'm waiting for the uh, disks to unload and you know, so I can defragment my system, uh, you know, I've got a lot of these materials, and do I really need that many? Um, probably not. So, and a lot of these, like for instance, the wood, and a lot of these, that all these uh, dyes are being generated by the chickens. So perhaps I should put in some sort of filter system somewhere, an area where I just junk it. So the chickens will keep us supplied, and if ever it appears, it just throws it away. I need to figure something out about that. What do you think? Has anybody done that in Fullcraft on your worlds or your servers? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, that's what I'm thinking about doing next for a lot of this stuff that I just, I mean, I won't use. The next thing I'm going to be working on, I'm going to be working on aluminum. I'm going to, uh, let's see, I can't really do much coal. That's just compressed coal. Um, but we'll probably be working on copper and nickel next. Those are just basically these uh, ores, uh, ingots, and see what happens. I'm already ready for the aluminum. So we're going to keep on going as soon as these disks uh, get unloaded. You can see that one just finished. It says it's got 269, which is really weird because if I put it in, it jumps out. So it must be finished. I'll put that up there. And then this one, I'm sorry, this one right here is slowly unloading. Now, this disk, disk drive is uh, empty. What I did, though, is I put in there are two fluid disks. So you can tell that they look different because I got this like light blue color along the side. And those are fluid storage. And the fluid storage is for the cows. They have certain fluids that I have, and I can uh, get access to that. So they're going to be in here. Okay, this is all red again. This is all red again. And this is all red again. That means we are overloading the system, it looks like. Hmm, so I might have to start the aluminum up pretty soon. So why don't I do that right now? Okay, so we'll put the aluminum in there. And, of course, it didn't change, so we'll unlock it or break it, and we'll put it in there. And there it goes. And then we'll say block. And it's already making stuff. I will go in here, grab a, a block. 
fine. Clever block. There we go. And bring that out. And there we go. Now, it also takes, if you look, it says it takes aluminum nuggets. And let's see if we have any aluminum nuggets in here. So aluminum. We do. So let me grab one of those. Put it down here, and this way I can say, "Hey, I want to, you know, import that as well." Come on, import the aluminum nuggets. There we go. So it's going to make aluminum nuggets into bars, which is going to make it into the blocks. It's pretty nice. These compacting drawers are really good for this kind of a thing, uh, especially when you have the speed upgrades. It can handle it. Um, so I just let it go. And uh, this drive almost done. Yeah. See, as we're freeing up space, it's gone down pretty well. There it is it's done, it says anyway. So we'll throw that back in. There we go. So I'll just keep on waiting for this, and uh, you can already see the drives are starting to get yellow again as we pull things out. So it's it's slowly working. I'm down in the chicken area because uh, down here is where I actually get rid of the extra eggs that are produced. As you can see here, the exporter. If they produce their 1010 eggs, we just get rid of them automatically. So this is the trash area. I thought this would be a great place to look for trashing things. Now, I do want to have some things in reserve. So if I have you know, 77,000 oak wood, as an example, I want to have a certain amount left over to always be in there just in case. I don't want to trash all of it. So I have to figure a way to do this. Now, what I've done is over here, I've kind of run the cable around just so I can get uh, the signal over. And I have another trash can. And this exporter says export oak wood, but wait to do it for a redstone signal. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to give it a signal. This is a detector. The detector actually looks at a quantity. So if you look here, I have 1728. Now I have says if it's less than 1728, do something. And we're not there yet, obviously. And I want to show you this. So what happens here, if you look at the number, it's 77325. It's 325. Remember that number? Nothing's happening. It hasn't been changing. If I change this to more than 1728, it starts to trash the number and you can see it's going down okay so what's going on there is that it says hey we have too much throw those items away now unfortunately uh, even though that the exporter can do lots of different things I have to control very specifically just for one okay so now what I can do is I can go and get some speed upgrades in here this will run a little bit faster and then I can expand this trash section to uh, work with basically all these items. Like I, this item I'm not producing myself. This is something I mined out there with the quarry thing. So I don't want to get rid of that quite yet. But these, the the, the various uh, dyes and things, I'm being produced, I'm producing those with the chickens. So those I can really start to get rid of and trash them. So I'm gonna set up some trash here for, basically for all of these items here. Um, except for this, the salt and the redwood, because I don't have a way to actively produce those. And I'm going to try to see if I can get this trash for this first line set up. So let me do that and we'll see how this goes. This should free up a lot of space in our storage. I've been adding to the trash line. And you can see here, these have already finished. You can tell by the lights being off. So it's still working on this right here, which is the bone meal. And this one is working on the eggs. Now, 1728. You may ask, what is that number? Well, what I did was I figured, what is a normal chest? A normal chest has three rows of nine so there's 27 total spots in a normal chest so i took i took 64 items which is a stack times uh, 27 and that's where i get 1728 so see that one just turned off so now if we go back out here and we look our top row has changed it's now you can see the eggs are already gone uh we got gunpowder some of these other things now so we can start to really uh junk some of this stuff that we can't get rid of like i can get more gunpowder because i have chickens let's get rid of that uh, blocks of coal, we could get rid of blocks of coal if we need to. I might keep it for an energy source right now, but that's something we can get rid of. All the dyes, of course, we can get rid of. So let's start to uh, get this worked out. So now that that's kind of like done, that one's almost done here. Let's go back up and look at our storage area. We've got a lot of blues now. See that? So the system is is really starting to empty out, which is good, and hopefully it'll make it faster. Like this disk here is forty eight eight zero three. So if I take that and I'm going to put it into this device here, see that one says negative 84. I'm not sure why it would show negative, but basically put this in here and it will then take it out. You can see it's going down and put it into the rest of the system. And then I can from there, you know, 
defragment my 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 uh, storage. So let me go get, do some more of this here. I'm gonna try to defragment a little bit. Then I'm gonna go add a whole other set of of items that are being trashed. We're gonna get this uh, storage system under control. I added more of that uh, stuff, and wow, um, the storage system is really starting to empty out. I still have a lot of things in here, but you can see here we've got a lot more that has gone by. It's getting a lot more empty. I feel like one of those uh, hoarders you see on TV. That's their, you know, garage is filled with just clutter. And it feels kind of good to get rid of this stuff. So I am emptying disc arrays. I have one more disc on this, then this is almost done. And it's all being shoved into here and onto this one. Now this one I have give, is given priority. So it's going to try to fill this up more than it's going to fill this one up. But we're slowly getting there. But you can still see I've got just tons of things. I can get rid of string on, on these dies here. I don't know about, I mean, saplings. Am I going to need 16,000 saplings? Probably I should trash it. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing that goes on. You can see this, the silver ingots here, we're going up. Steel ingots are going up. So, you know, I got to just start to really get this down. So let me do some more work on the trashing of these items um, that I just don't need. And uh, slowly we'll get this storage system under control. Uh, thanks for bearing with me on this because this has kind of been needed. And I think this has been part of the problem why I get a lot of my lag um, when dealing with storage and items and things. So let me just keep working on this. All right, I think I've done it. Uh, I've been working, like I said, I'm doing the compression and working on getting rid of items. You can see here we've got uh, a different set of items that we usually see when we go into the storage system. That's great. I still have a lot to do of compacting and trashing items, but the goal I had uh, was to get rid of, I got rid of all of this for storage, all of this for storage, and all of the one that was up here, these two are the fluid disks. So we have just this box is my entire storage system. So I took it down uh, by more than two thirds uh, with that uh, trashing and compacting, which is great. I'm hoping this will speed things up. It's a little bit more responsive, I think. So let's go look over here. I'm going to show you what I did here with the trash. <laughs> the trash row is crazy. Why am I not going down? That's strange. There we go. I'm not sure what that was about. Anyway, I have this long line of trash. And this might be actually a good screenshot here. So let's just take a screenshot. There we go. That'll be a good thumbnail. But uh, yeah, it's working out really well. Um, now that I have all that space, hopefully you know, I can do a little more compact and get this down even smaller. And uh, it'll help out with everything else that's going on with the, uh, the lag. At least lag from when I access the storage system. So another thing I want to ask is I have the portal guns, as you recall, but how do I clear these out? I have yet to figure out a way to clear these out so I don't see them anymore. I mean, I can always go, you know, open a portal someplace else that's hidden, but uh, I don't know how to clear them out and it's kind of annoying. So if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. Alrighty. Well, that's all I have time for today. Uh, I need to get started to uh, edit and uh, get ready to edit all the video and then get it rendered and get it out the door. So I'm going to call it here. If you like this video, please click that like button. I can't stress that enough. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to uh, click the little bell icon so you get the notifications. Also, I've been doing a lot more streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tinker77live. You can join me there, please. If you have a chance, go ahead and follow over there. That would be very uh, helpful too. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you next time. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.